listen folks I just came to speak a word this evening um, something the Lord laid on my heart every time the Lord lays something on my heart I have to release it uh, reason being is that if you don't release the word out of you it stays inside of you and then it becomes it, it really becomes to take order uh, 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 how you call it it becomes to take ordinance in your life and uh, God is teaching me how to release the word even though sometimes I'm tired and I really don't want to release the word but God is teaching me in this in seasons you know how to get it out tell the people what I said tell them what I say speak like I've called you to speak on my behalf and so sometimes I would get the word um, on my way home from work sometimes I'll get the word right as I'm in the bed getting ready to go to bed and I'm saying my last prayer to God and there he goes I can just feel it and I can feel it so strongly in my spirit and so anywho, let me just bring it to this God bless you all for being on the broadcast this evening this is Pastor Life you guys know who I am all the way from Providence Rhode Island as usual bringing it in to your houses bringing it in to your homes bringing it in all over the nations of the world so that people can know and recognize and acknowledge the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I'm sorry I'm driving at this time and it's night time coming from work so you guys <laughs> I'm so sorry but um, I think it looks much better like this anyway but face don't matter right now but let me get right to the, the point um, I've been thinking about this I know I made a video like a couple of videos today about mothers but I, I really want to get to the call of what God is saying again in my heart tell them your story I want you guys to purchase my book. My book is on Amazon and it's Adele Kennedy. If you go on Amazon and put in I-D-E-L that made a mistake with my name and use my middle name to get the book. So you'll put in Adele, I-D-E-L Kennedy. And it's called Courage Inspired by God. Let go and let God. And this book is all about reaching out to parents. This is very strong. The Holy Spirit truly delivered the word through me, through that book. And this is exactly what he's laid on my heart. The way you treat your children from infant. Oh, parents, mothers, do you not understand that what you put in them from infant, they grow up with that in them. So, uh, if you put love inside of them, if, if you cultivate what it is that God has given you, if you learn to love your babies and and and, 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 and discipline them and 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 and, 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 and learn to to to, to 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 give them the right things, one of the right things is the word of God. Teach them the Bible. Teach them how to be raised up the right way. Bible says in the book of Proverbs 22 6, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Okay. Now this brings me to this point. Uh, this brings me to this point. Uh, people wonder why sometimes uh, we see a lot of stuff on television. Uh, mass killers and serial killers and, and, and some of them are in the mental institution and all that stuff. But we need to wonder what was that person life like in order for them to have grown up and still have the mentality to do what to do. You know what was missing? One thing that was one ingredient that is so important in the life of a child was missing. And that ingredient is love. The love of a mother is something else. When a mother does not love that child, and especially if she has three or four children, and she doesn't love that other child the way she loved her other four children, it begin to cost into that other child heart the spirit of nobody cares about me 
so 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 what's the need of me trying to push myself into doing this and doing that what they don't understand is that god has a calling on your life even as a child he knew that your mother was going to do this to you he knew that the child she was carrying in her womb she didn't want the child but she persisted on giving birth to that child just to get that child in the world and let go of that child and what happens is that mom you destroy the minds of your daughters you destroy the minds of your son my good god almighty it's a horrible thing for a mother to give birth to a child and totally forget about that child but every time you see the child on some sort of platform and then you say i love you or you only call me on my birthday i love you don't understand a mother what that does such things because you don't understand they don't understand what love is you can't love something that you have not put in your effort in you cannot reap what you have not shown inside of a person or a vessel god reaps everything from our lives why because he poured his life out for us One thing I mentioned in my book also was number one ingredients is love. When a person begins to act up at the age, even when they grow up a little bit and they pass that age of toddler, and now they have entered the age of a teenager. And they still feel the way they feel that parents even doing worse things now. Don't even call them no more. Don't even check on them no more. Don't even try to see what they're doing and how they're doing and what they're doing in school and what they're doing in other things that they have applied themselves to. Nobody to celebrate with them, my good God Almighty. Nobody to say thank you, Jesus, for them. They're just doing everything on their own. So now this uh, a teenager becomes very, very very oh disobedient they become very very they be, begin to always think on the negative Mm, about. Oh, I pray this evening that is not your portion. I pray this evening that will never be the portion of your children or children's children. I know what that means because I've been through it in my life. And I understand what it would have done to me had I not, connect, had I not connected with the love of God. Yes, I understand now what it would have done to my life if I had not connected with the love of God. It was the love of God that was able to break chains in my life. It was the, <coughs> excuse me. It was the love of God that was able to break bondages from over my life, delivered me from things that I was suffering inwardly. And I, I really thought I could take these things out on people. And the Lord told me, let go and let me in so that I can come in and heal. And we wonder sometimes, oh, how did he become so horrible? How did he become so this? But mother, you forgot that you had you have a bunch of children. And all God wanted you to do in this process was to love them uh-huh all he acquired of you was to love them and because you didn't love them from 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 infant because you didn't place love within them from toddler because you didn't place your your love of the you didn't exhibit the love of god from within you within them and so now they become uh, 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 adults and now those things begin to play on their minds it begins to play it and play it and play it on their minds and they're wondering about god what should i do now because i, I don't feel like nobody uh-huh i don't feel like anything father god i just want to find my way out uh-huh i just want to find somewhere to go and destroy somebody uh uh -huh, God, because I don't feel like a no, I feel like a nobody. I come to tell some child this evening, and I come to tell a mother this evening. Ah, uh, if you're going to be a mother and you're going to 
birth children on the earth. God gives you the ability to bring them. Come on, somebody. Treat them right. Treat them right. Treat them right. Treat them right. Mm -hmm. Treat them like children of Zion. Treat them the way the King of Glory loved us and will treat us. Yes, yes, God requires that of us. In the name of Yeshua Amashia. Ah, and then that child grows up and he becomes something that you never thought. And when it asks the parent, the parent says, Oh, well, I never knew he was going to be like this. I just knew he was always an introvert. Do you understand the many of an introvert? An introvert is someone that does not want to be bothered with nobody. Ah, introvert is someone that does not want to be bothered with nobody. And so when it comes into that place of, 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 of self rejection and abandonment, that's my book. Order it now. Go on Amazon and order the book. Pastor Adele Kennedy or just put in Adele Kennedy and it'll come right up and this is how it is. Sometimes they just don't want to do nothing at all for these kids and our children are dying under the hands of their own mothers. In the mighty name of Jesus you better pick up yourself mothers and begin to love on the ones that God has placed in your life. You better pick up yourself mothers and repent to God. Why are some of your children on death road? Uh, why are some of your children in the jail houses? Because you didn't love them properly. Some of you spoiled your children. Why is it that children are out there doing their own thing when they're supposed to have a parent with them? Uh, disciplining them, caring for them, cultivating them, loving them and cherishing who they are. Come on somebody now. Come on, come on. Come on, somebody, realize, uh, uh, look at this with me from, 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 from different aspects. Why do you think your child don't love you? Because you never instilled within that child love. You was very biased with your love. You only loved the ones that was near you. Uh -huh. But when they grew older, you left them by themselves to tend for themselves. God found pleasure in them. And he's raised some of them up today as the remnants that will carry on the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mothers, please get my book. Yes, I'm backing you. Please go on Amazon and order Idel Kennedy. Courage inspired by God. You must let go and let God. Please spread the word out. Let it go out. This book needs to be heard. The Holy Ghost and fire really, really touched my heart. From my experiences and other things that have been through, it will bless you. It will help you. It will carry you through some things. But the Holy Ghost that dwells inside of it, of that book. The Spirit spoke to me and I, 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 and I, I wrote down everything that the Holy Ghost wanted me to write down. Parents, you must become effective in the lives of your children. What's wrong with you? Mothers, you must become effective. You're waiting for your child to come and say sorry to you. For what? That's your baby. So It is your baby that you carry nine months in your belly. And you are waiting for your baby while he's on that dirty road. While she's on that road. Young as she is. People can just seduce her. People can uh, 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 can just make her into some kind of uh, 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 object of scorn. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My God, my God, my God. You better catch just now in the spirit. You better catch just now, parents. Watch over your daughters. Men, watch over your sons. It's important. Go get the book on Amazon. Adele Kennedy. Get the book. Spread the word. Encourage somebody to take care of their children. There's a little girl I was watching one time on YouTube. And this little girl happened to have a mother, but it never was the mother was never instrumental. All she did was just push the baby out. That's all she did. And this young man find himself all by himself. And now he goes to find him a girlfriend. We better be careful in this season with our children. He goes so far, him a girlfriend. And the girlfriend hates the little girl that is only three years of age. And 
and she did a lot of horrible stuff to that young little girl. She starved her from food. She hated her. For what reason? Nobody knows because it wasn't a birth child. What is going on in this worldly system? This worldly system is screwed up. It's horrible. And I tell you something. Step parents, you better step up to the game because God will ask you on that great and faithful day, why did you kill my little girl? Why did you kill my little boy? Why? Because she wasn't yours? That stepmother beat that child to death. That stepmother made that child go hungry. That stepmother hated. And every time the father would just work and work and work. And they never dared to check on the baby. Never dared to see what's going on with the baby, baby, little baby girl. Until she was found dead. And placed in a refrigerator. Y'all better hear me this evening. Not because it's Mother's Day. It's because I'm a mom myself and I understand how important it is to raise a child and place within them the capacity to be a lover of God, the capacity to be able to do things and, and do it with decency and order, the capacity to be over, able to, 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 to acknowledge God in all his ways. I know what it means to love my son. Oh yes, I know what it means sometimes to discipline him, to discipline him so that he won't be a spoiled child. I I know what it means so that he won't go bad. So, love your children. I'm going to go back again to the Proverbs 22.6. Proverbs, train up your child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will never depart from. Y'all gonna have to get up on your game, mothers. Get my book. It's on. It's in Walmart. If you go on Walmart, it's Pastor Life Adele Kennedy to order it. If you go on Barnes and Noble, it's Pastor Life Adele Kennedy. If you go on Amazon, which is the most popular place that many people are buying my books from, you just put in I D E L Kennedy. It will come right up because the publishers made a mistake with my first. They didn't put my first name in. And nothing we can't change that right now. So you go in there, I delicate it. I want to see thousands of these books sold so that people can have some some revelation of why our children behave the way that they behave. Psychologically, they are totally disturbed from their upbringing. Yes. And their, their cognitive levels are very, very messed up. So we have to come to a place in allowing God to use us as instruments of loving our children to the core so that they are able to love the ones that they will come in contact with. Come on now, go on Amazon right now and order the book. For those of you that is on this channel under the tone of my voice, order the book and send me a, a, a picture of the book that you have ordered and I will send you a teacher at a Breath and Life Prayer and Intercessory Ministry. Which means I love you and I thank you for buying the book. And let other people know also, buy the book. It will help you. May God bless you all this evening. I hope that this word will help somebody. And I hope that you guys will go on, on, on Amazon and purchase and purchase and purchase thousands of courage inspired by God. It was birthed by the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I love you guys so much. And so I'm so sorry I couldn't show my face. But God bless you. Share. Share, subscribe, subscribe, comment, comment. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.